Hey guys, hey everyone. Um, I'm just here to explain my YouTube channel. I started this a couple days ago. I tested out some streams and checked out if everything was going to work well. And looking forward, you know, I'll be uploading a lot of Marvel Future Fight, you know, gameplay and character reviews and even beginner's guide stuff um, I'm at the point where I don't really play you know very competitively I mean I can still hold my weight but I'm not like super competitive on the game and I've recently started helping you know the beginners you know people that are new to the game or people that you know have a couple months of experience and they're looking for tips and tricks to progress faster um, I'll show you my account uh, this is my main account here so this game is Marvel Future Fight it's a iOS game and Android game you can play on your tablet, phone even PC which I'm doing now um, this is my alliance where quite a good alliance we're not full of you know active players but you know the players that are active are, you know extremely extremely strong um, I've got some my friends list here if you guys want to add me I'll make some space uh, in my, on my friends list uh, you can add me there so yeah my alliance is not like the most competitive but we're uh, we're definitely like having fun, you know. We're very casual about the game. We're not pushing anybody to you know go out of their ways, you know, to score a lot, you know, or to you know always play the game at the highest level. And you know, we all enjoy like just playing together at certain times of the day. So this is my account. Um, my IGN is Li Po Liang, it's my Chinese name. Uh, I'm currently living in Asia and planning to move back to America in the future. Uh, as you can see here, I'm a VIP 10, which if you guys don't know, it's kind of like how much you paid in the game and what kind of bonuses you can get, you know, if you achieve a certain amount of crystals, which I've bought, as you can see, quite a lot. Um, I haven't bought any recently, but you know, before when I was more competitive and I wanted to progress fast, I decided to, you know, spend a little bit of money on the game, which I still enjoy, just not competitively. Um, so yeah, uh, this is my main account. I don't you know, I don't have every characters, you know, like I said, there's some characters I haven't paid for. Most of the characters are six stars. Um, I've been playing the game for one year, so I think it's kind of expected that every uh, every character is almost maxed out at this point. Mm. So obviously these two characters I have to pay to unlock them, um, which I might do, you know, in the future, but right now I don't feel any pressure in doing so. I basically clear most of the content and I don't have any difficulties in doing so. Um, so on this account I'm planning to do some character reviews, you know, some interesting clears on certain game modes with some of these characters. You know, maybe show my builds on some of them and explain how to build them. And yeah, that'll be mostly that kind of content for my one year account. I've recently started a new account just two weeks ago, you know, testing out the latest, you know, startup kind of startup account. Um, so far, I mean, I've been testing a lot of stuff and, you know, I've been discovering a lot of things that, you know, when I started, I definitely didn't know and didn't think I could achieve so fast. Uh, one of the goals would be to clear 15 floors of Shadowland and scoring 
at least finishing a lines battle normal, you know, every day. I mean, that's kind of a beginner's goals. Uh, also, as beginner's goals, you kind of want to uh, unlock as many characters as you can, but you know, you've got to be smart with what characters you pick because not all characters can clear a floor of Shadowland or not all characters are easy to farm at you know the beginning of the game so this account I'll be streaming a lot of it uh, my stream schedule will be from Friday afternoon to Sunday afternoon maybe even Sunday night you know if on Sunday I'll be free I'll probably stream uh, all of Sunday but uh, mostly in the afternoons uh, I'll be able to stream on this account and sort of show you guys what the process is and what steps you have to make what kind of tricks you can use to progress fast and you know rank up your characters as fast as possible one of the characters that is new is America Chavez and you can actually get her on the first day of you know playing and she's a great character for beginners if you're a, vet, a veteran you're probably not gonna think she's a great character it's like above average but nothing like meta changing or nothing that's like extremely special but if you're a beginner like she's an amazing character to get you know she can clear world boss she can clear shadowland at like minimal build you know you don't have to waste a lot of resources into into that character you know some characters you have to invest a lot of resources um, one of those characters is uh, Elsa where you need to buy the uniform you know you, know, you have to get like the tier twos you know before they actually start clearing uh, certain floors of Shadowland or like clearing game modes that are useful for you you know see Elsa Bloodstone like at her normal you know normal state in the game she's very average under average character but if you spend the time to build her you know tier 2 her buy her uniform then she can become a decent character nothing Nothing special, but you know, she'll help you in certain like speed day, alliance battle, and clearing a shadowland floor for you. So, some characters they don't need uniforms, you know, they don't need tier twos. At tier ones, they're very great. So, it's kind of that at the beginning, you have to choose wisely on who you want to rank up. So, yeah, so for my characters, uh, we've got you know, Rhea, Shen Rogers. Um, you know, all these characters are pretty good at tier 1 with minimal build. Um, Doc Ock is very useful because he's a villain and some Shadowland Force, you know, you need only villains. You know, only villains are capable of clearing the, those floors. Another villain that just recently got updated is Ultron the latest update we had and he's gonna become a priority you know he's very decent in Shadowland decent in World Boss and he doesn't need that much of a build uh, special missions you can catch Sandman and obviously work on Loki which is a great villain also so yeah I hope you guys tune in to my streams you know watch my videos comment if you need help if you need any advice on anything related to Marvel Future Fight, you know, I'll always be here to help, and I hope you guys, you know, join the streams and, you know, support my channel. So yeah, uh, that'll do it for this video, um, I'll probably be streaming this weekend, and hope we see you guys there. Alright, see y'all.